So right before I made uh, we really Aaron Aaron actually not me at all but right before uh, Aaron completed uh, the the first in a series of uh, pieces called Fourteen States and um, right before he re recorded that and um, but after after I had had already asked him to record that piece. Um, someone, you know, asked me uh, through a space-time travel communication coordinate, uh, and the uh, the implications of that coordinate, and uh, and and what that coordinate seemed to refer to, in, in a in a chain of references. Um, why, if uh, if some of these issues involving uh, women's health care and uh, and the outcomes of um, children's lives, children who live under conditions of poverty, if, if I am uh, empathetically and emotionally concerned with these issues, why, um, why do I utilize strategies like um, conceptual poetics, that is, uh, taking you know, found sentences and composing them into pieces and which seem, you know, or or might have uh, the effect of creating distance, right? And um, and, uh, and and isolating um, the idea of poetry from this notion of uh, you know subjective and emotional response, right? That that belongs to perhaps lyric poetry and and perhaps some other you know forms of narrative you know poetry as well, in which in which personal subjectivity uh, plays the part. Of, of an eye so clearly and um, and distinctly and um, and and then you know following up on that that question the other another question you know arose you know via this space-time communication coordinate and the entailments of, of, of a string of references from it um, and why have Aaron you know read and perform uh, these these conceptual poems uh, composed in this in uh, acrostic based series, uh, rather than you know read them yourself, and um, and, and the answer <laughs> is uh, you know you know belongs you know to this I, I suppose confessional poetics mode in which you know I I confess to um, uh, being unable. Uh, <laughs> To get through uh, material like this, even if it is written in this uh, journalistic style, and uh, the the first experience that I that I had of you know a failure to um, to perform right in in this in this manner of uh, of the uh, the artiste you know who who presents you know herself or himself up, upon a stage and has a memorized, you know, set of lines and, and the, um, the, the measure of the, uh, the virtue and virtuosity and, um, uh, and quality of the performance is, you know, how well it's, uh, articulated vocally and, uh, and emotively and, and without, and, you know, free of error. And and uh, and and this first instance of of, of such a failure was uh, was um, you know early in in my experience of public performance and uh, I, I was perhaps in in the second first or second grade and uh, it was a a, a Christmas performance uh, before the congregation of a Mennonite church in Reedley, California, you know, to which my my grandparents involved in this you know farming community. Um, uh, perhaps you know thirty or thirty five miles outside of uh, Fresno, if um, one is unfamiliar with Reedley, California, which was you know at that time largely you know Mennonite community um, who uh, who arrived there and uh, and, uh, and other places within uh, the San Joaquin Valley from Kansas and Oklahoma uh, as a result of uh, the experience of the dust Bowl and uh, and and famine and um, and uh, so I'm, 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 you know, I had memorized these lines, and and I'm before the congregation, and I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to, uh, I'm supposed to recite them, and um, 
and 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 I didn't have this this problem, you know, before in 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 memorizing the lines and in in practicing, but um, I, I I literally lost my voice and couldn't speak, and um, and uh, and, the, and the lines were fed to me, but I still uh, even 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 having the lines fed to me, I still stumbled upon them, and had to. Um, you know, repeat them uh, as they were fed to me. I could, I didn't, I didn't pick up, uh, you know, from from anywhere that I had left off and and, and, and become capable of of uh, completing the recitation on my own. Right. So, um, and then after you know the failure of the performance, uh, <laughs> you know, several several of my fellow. Um, my fellow performers, you know, uh, of the same age, my peers, you know, um, you know, uh, criticized and, you know, you know, you know, some called me names and some criticized the performance and, uh, and others, uh, you know, uh, expressed this idea that I had, I had ruined the, the pageant or whatever it was. And you know, most people, and most of the adults didn't say anything. I had one, uh, very kind, uh, great aunt who, um, who, who made some, com some comments, you know, regarding, um, regarding the, uh, the incident that, um, that, um, that seemed, you know, in, in one way or another to be aware of, uh, you know, why, uh, this occurrence, you know, might have happened. And, um, and so anyway, uh, even today, um, there are certain kinds of information that I, I, I can't approach. Um, and, uh, and even thinking about those kinds of information, I began to lose the ability to speak. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll try to perform this piece and, and, uh, and, and, and provide an example. Eighteen nineteen. Alabama has the fifth. Highest child poverty rate in the United States. Living in poverty increases the physical and emotional stress in a child's life. And can also prompt negative biological changes in the cardiovascular, immune, neuroendocrine and cortical systems, which can have long-term implications for learning decision-making, and overall health and well-being. So, um, and I'm, no, I'm cutting out of, of the reading. Um, <laughs> so, uh, this is, <laughs> we could even, you know, we could come up with a name for this response, and, and we could, you know, perhaps... Um, we could call it the the John Henry because I I remember having uh, uh, a similar emotional response to uh, as I said you know this um, 
this cartoon that I watched, uh, you know, in, in early grade school um, that, uh, that for me, you know, was represented an allegory of the civil rights movement and, and, um, and made me cry. And <laughs> it's narrated, you know, somewhere in, in this long, you know, series of work that I performed for, for YouTube. And, you know, if you care to, you know, look for it, you can. And I narrated that experience, but I've had it in other instances as well. And, um, you know, not just as a child, but as an adult, I cried when I showed uh, Carl Dreyer's film of uh, Joan of Arc with, um, you know, Ray, Rene Falcon Eddy's extremely moving performance um, in that film and, and thought, well, you know, this was uh, during a class that I was teaching at Barnard and thought, well, there will certainly be other, you know, <laughs> people, my students crying at, at, at this moving performance, but you know, no, there weren't. I mean, I was, I was the only one. And, um, and so some of the material, like, even, even if it is, you know, even if it does arrive, derive from, from sources that are dry and, um, uh, and, uh, not particularly, uh, emotionally constructed, the information itself is enough to um, inhibit, you know, my ability to, to perform it. So the simple answer to the question, um, you know, wh why are you having uh, Aaron perform this in this manner is, um, uh, well, there's, I guess there's two answers, so it's perhaps not as simple as it could be. But, you know, you know, the first is, uh, because because I can't perform it, um, and and um, in in any better than I attempted to perform the beginning of this piece, and and the second answer is is uh, it's sugar, <laughs> it's sugar to, uh, to 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 sweeten the uh, the, the dry and uh, and, and difficult information right that's presented, and. Um, and, and I guess if there were a third answer, it would just be because, uh, well, because, because Aaron is, is so good at it. 